Standard human greetings, ladies, gentlemen, and all the configurations of being. My name is Captain Huey, and welcome to one of my favorite games of all time, Graveyard Keeper. The newest, I say new, the last DLC, Better Save Soul, just dropped recently, I believe, for console. So the game is finally finished. It's been out on, like, PC for a while, a year plus, I believe. Um, but I'm excited to finally get into it. I've already played through this game a couple times, so I know mostly everything that happens and what to do. I have not obviously seen anything or played anything for Better Save Soul. And this is my first solo recording since, uh, the League of Legends game, Ruined King. So I'm excited to do that again. And I apologize if there are any audio problems. I'm talking quiet. I'm not having an off day a little bit. Um, well, let's 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 get started. You probably you're not here to see me ramble. You're here to see see a game. So we're gonna do a new game. Head straight in, and hopefully, with any luck, it'll be fun. I've been I've been craving this game ever since I heard the DLC come out, but I've just been not had the energy to actually record myself because it, yeah, it takes a lot of energy. It's an ordinary day and our hero is hurrying home where someone very important is waiting for him. Even in everyday routine, there's a place for loving and feeling loved, especially when you know that someone misses you. What happened? Where is everything? Calm down, your melee. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger. Turn the page in a new life. A whole new chapter awaits you ahead. But I need to go home. Can I go home? There is always a way to get home. Hmm, let me see. Your new home is a graveyard. Does that mean I'm dead? It means you're a graveyard keeper now. But I need to go home to my love. Then you need to be a good graveyard keeper. You should dig up Gary. He'll help you sort things out. Who? What a strange vision. What is this? Nightmare. Okay, let's find Gary. What is this? What are you? To work on making my home cozy. Woo! I think I maybe finally stopped dreaming about this skull. That's new. I haven't seen that before. I'm excited for that. Dig up Gary. What, what, is it, what voice should I give to Gary? Are you Gary? Hmm. Why would you think I'm Gary? A man with a red eye told me that I need to dig up Gary. A red eye. Ah, I remember! Oh, Shard, that's right. I'm Gary. How did you find me? The man told me that you'd answer my questions. Good, good, but first let me ask you, who are you and where the shard are we? I must be dreaming. None of this can be real. Hmm, you're the new graveyard keeper. What else do I remember? Let me think. I remember that sound. Let's go check it out. Everything is so strange. None of this makes sense. I definitely remember that bell and a donkey. Something is very wrong with that animal. Hmm. He could be dangerous. You know, I think I'll be here. Wait, it might scare the poor thing. I love the donkey. Hello, donkey. <laughs> Got a fresh... I don't know. Got a fresh corpse from the town. Wow, a talking donkey. <laughs> you can... I want to give him a voice, but I don't want to do anything that's too annoying. Who are you? I'm cheap labor. This card isn't mine, so I have to work for the capitalist bastard who owns it. And I earn five carrots a day. The situation is deeply humiliating. You know where I'm coming from, right, comrade? A bastard pretends he doesn't understand anything I'm saying. Anyways, I need to get back to the town. You get rid of this one and I'll bring you a new one. What a strange land this is. Hmm. 
Hey, what are you staring at? Grab that juicy corpse while it's still fresh. What for? I feel like we should take it to the morgue. I don't remember why exactly, but I'm pretty sure it'll be fun and might be profitable. Oh, I'm gonna puke. Let's do it! Yeah, I know. I've played the game before. I've done this dance a few times. Shard. I like this place. Feels like home. Put the body on the autopsy table. Then, what's next? Oh, yes! Slice some f flesh from the corpse. That should be a good s for starters. What? No way! This isn't right. Sure, sure, it's not right. How could I forget? Maybe because I'm a talking skull with amnesia. I is it right that you don't know where you are? Is it right that I'm a skull? Nothing is right here. So shut the shard up and do what I tell you. You promise you'll tell me how to get home? You just need to trade the meat in the vi village tavern for a beer. Talking skulls never lie. And then bring me the beer. Blueprint. Yes, yes. Extracted the flesh. I can make burgers, sandwiches, and baked meat with it. This, that's disgusting. You'll get used to it. So what should I do with the corpse? I don't know, let's bury it. Take the corpse, I'll wait for you in the graveyard. I cannot wait to get to where I am autonomous. This game is very long, so there will probably be long stints of me not talking and just having it sped up. Or maybe even cut out altogether, I guess we'll see. Alright. Let's bury it. Yeah, I know. I know how to do this. Graveyard site. Dum de dum. Dig in a grave. Dum de dum. Putting the thing in the grave. Covering the grave. Nicely done. Hmm, that bear certificate, I remember. Money. Alcohol. Alcohol. Hmm. I sure used to like that. A lot. Oh, Shard, here comes the bishop. He's your boss. Oh, oh, I know. Ask him about that bearer certificate. He should know something. I better leave now. I'll be in the mo morgue waiting for my beer. Dear me, I'm so tired. Why? Why do I have to come here every week? I will promise you right now I will not remember all of these voices. And I'm sorry that they're terrible and annoying, but I'm going to do them anyway because I think it's fun. Oh dear, my new keeper. Hmm. I've been expecting him for 30 years, but he pretends there's nothing wrong. Okay, Jesus. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but your graveyard is such a mess. There's no way I'm promoting you to cleric until you fix it. As soon as your graveyard quality is at least five, I'll be pleased to promote you. You look like a spiritual leader. I'm a good change of character. <laughs> I'm good at everything. That's why I was chosen to represent his will. <laughs> Your predecessor used to keep his stuff in a truck somewhere here. You should check it. I'll come by next week. In fact, I come here every purple circle thing. Maybe I'm not dreaming. Did I eat something? Oh, he's waiting. What should I say? Why is it that you come here? Oh, it's part of my duty. The unpleasant part. It's kind of an old tradition. I don't know much about all the traditions and rituals. I'm just here to represent his might and glory. Ha <laughs> ha! I have one tiny question. What is this barrier certificate? As soon as a body has been laid to rest, you can trade its burial certificate for money at the village tavern. I'm not the keeper. I was going home from work. I need to go home. There's a talking skull. He forced me to butcher a corpse. Ha <laughs> ha! What a fine joke. A humorist. I'm a humorist myself. Here's one. Who is BB? Who? I am. Ha ha. Blessed and beautiful. Just repair the graves. It wouldn't take me even an hour, but it's your job. All right. 
Can you tell me more about this bear certificate? It is your payment for leaving our, laying our brethren to rest. It's part of an ancient contract between the town and the village. As soon as a body has been buried, as soon as a body has been laid to rest, you can trade its burial certificate for money at the tavern. Oh god, this seems too complicated to be a dream. About the town. Oh, the town. It is the heart of our glorious land. The palace, the cathedral, everything is there. You should see it for yourself. Hmm. But in those clothes, that would be rather funny. Ha ha! Oh, can I get to the, how could I get to the town it's not far from the village just head south from the tavern and where's the village just go east of the graveyard gate along the old stone road no more questions thank you if you run out of repair kits while fixing the graveyard you can always craft new ones Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very cool, very neat, very awesome. So, the general gist of this game. Maybe I'll get into it, I'll just get into it now, why not? So the general gist is that as you play through the game, you help characters do quests, that sort of things. Um, your, your end goal, big end goal, get home to your wife. Pretty, pretty simple goal. And you have this tech tree here. If you've never seen Graveyard Keeper before, I pity you because, or played it, you should definitely play it yourself. But I will play it for you regardless. So it's like, you got all these points and stuff. You get red points and green points and blue points. Blue points are the hardest to get. You usually get them from, like, the writing tree and researching certain th researching body parts mostly and some other things like glassware but the red and green points are pretty easy green points you get a lot of those from farming and plant related things red points are more for like manual labor stuff like that so we have a bunch of repair kits in here and we are going to go ahead and repair some of the graves just gonna go ahead and do that right off the bat because why not actually we should probably repair these ones now the further you get your graveyard up that that's more like the bishops quests are all about the graveyard whereas um, like, Gary's quest, always about beer and beer-related topics. And then, um, there's a whole bunch of other characters, I'm sure. We'll, 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 we'll meet them eventually. Um, but first things first. Um, I probably could have waited to do that. We are headed to the town. Now, this is our little dude here. I'm kind of sad that you can't, like, customize him at all. But, you know, it, it's a story game, and this is the character. You are playing the character, even though, you know, it's your choice to do whatever. Um, it's still, he has a set personality, right? Uh, he speaks the way he wants to speak. You, while you controls actions, he has his own personality, and that's perfectly fine. I love it. I love this game. This... I will gush over this game just like Ruined King and um, any other of my favorite games that I play. Um, I will gush over them about how much I love them. But this is the tavern. This is the main. This is the main spot. Uh, this dude has quests. Um, the further you get in, the more they involve everyone. This is Hagrid. I believe that's his name. Hordrick, rather. He's the owner of the tavern. We'll talk to him. <sighs> Welcome to the Dead Horse Tavern. I am Hordrick. How can I help you? I come from the graveyard. I woke up here today and things have been crazy since then. Oh, sorry. How could I not have recognized you? Good, this is good. Things are looking bright for our small village. 
When are you planning on opening the church? I need to fix the graveyard first. Sure, sure. It's been a while since anybody's taken took care of it. So let's get down to business, shall we? How can I help you? About this burial certificate. This bish the bishop told me that uh, you would buy my burial certificates. Yes, he's right. As the head of the village, according to the ancient contract, I have to trade it for money. Of course, I only... Only if I have any money. What do you mean? The village is going through some hard... Going through hard times. We're short on money. But as soon as you open the church, pilgrims will bring lots of shiny coins to the village. Uh, I'd like to trade you some fresh meat. Meat is a delicacy in our village. I'll be glad to buy it. I just need to see the royal meat stamp on it. Many years ago, there was an accident with an uh, inappropriate meat. Ever since, all meat must have a, must be approved by a royal authority. And I don't need any trouble with the town. Does your meat have a stamp? Uh, actually, no. I don't even want to know where you get unauthorized meat. But wow, it looks really good. But without a stamp, my hands are tied. Where can I get this stamp? Oh, you can send a form to the royal court through the mailbox near your church, but it'll cost you a bundle. But there's another way. I'll tell you just because we're neighbors. Come closer. There's this guy called Snake. I think he has a fake royal stamp. But to be honest, I haven't seen him in for a while. You can ask Miss Charm. She comes here every female symbol. I bet you can I bet she can help you to find snake. Thanks. Um do you know how I can get back home? Can you tell me where I am because I really need to get home. My darling will be so worried. Shrugs. You're at the dead horse. Okay, it looks medieval. Maybe I traveled through time. And what year is it now? year what do you mean the time it takes for the earth to make one revolution around the sun oh you've been listening to the astrologers nonsense everybody knows that the earth is flat but I get you it's 200 after the ancient contract and 210 after hmm, never mind and what is the name of our beloved kingdom the kingdom and it is definitely not beloved here in the village. Do you have any other questions? How do I get a town pass? Hmm, it's rather complicated. The Inquisitor can grant a town pass, or you could just purchase citizenship. Let me think. Hmm. You know, there is one villager who could help you. Miss Char, maybe she can help you. Oh, Keeper, could you kindly take this letter to our local blacksmith? <sighs> Kurzvold? Kurzvold. Sure, where can I find him? The southeastern corner of the village. There are far too many characters in the game for me to do voices for all of them. I want you to know that. So, if all of the voices sound similar. One, it's because I can't do voices. And two, it's because there's too many characters. You must be the new great. Oh, that's gonna hurt my voice. So I've been told, but how do you know? Oh, if you live as long as I have, you'll probably learn how to read people. And where's my manners? I'm Miss Chain, Hordrick's wife. Nice to meet you. I have a few questions about. Oh, oh, you better talk to my husband. He's in charge around here. I'm not only. I'm not only the tavern keeper, I'm also the elected head of the village. Oh, he is. Besides, he really does like to talk. All I can do is sell you some recipes. This dude likes writing. Alright. Headed down. Down to the blacksmith. He's probably going to be inside. Well, I guess probably not, since it's the first day. Hey. 
What are you staring at? Nothing, just looking around. I'm, I think I'm the keeper of the local graveyard. May I ask who you are? Unfortunately, I'm the local blacksmith. My name's Kurzwald. Give him the letter. I have a letter for you from Hordrick. A letter? Of course. He's one minute away and he can't be bothered to come himself. Hey, I guess old Davids never died. Thank you. Sorry for my nagging. It seems it's my new habit. Oh, slimes again. Hordrick has asked me to get rid of them. I don't have time for those pesky green, little green bastards, but maybe you can help. Take this rusty sword and an energy potion. The sword is broken, but you can repair it with a whetstone on the grinder right behind me. And you can keep the whetstone. Maybe you'll need it to repair someone's your shovel sometimes. If you manage to kill them, bring with their remains and I'll spare you some materials. They should be right up the other side of my house near the puddles. No, no, what? I like to work with metal myself. Where can I find some more? You can find some more in the swamp soil. There's a huge swamp to the west across the river. I used to collect ore there before the bridge collapsed. Can I repair the sword? Repair the sword. Now, I do believe that the slime shall right up here. There we go. Easy peasy. Good job! Take the whetstone. Just shot my... I should have read that. Oops. Sorry. Maybe I'll add it in in post. Unlikely. But, we'll pretend. So. We have done this. Can we buy a beer? Do we have enough money for a beer? Hello. What was his voice? <laughs> I've already forgotten. It's good of you to use the sword. Kisvold told me about how you helped him. Here, have a beer. It's on the house. Oh, I don't need, don't need it. Don't need it. Don't need it. I'd like to sell you this place. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay. We are, we are, we are schmoovin'. We are schmoovin' right along. I should have set a timer for how long this is. Um, because I wanted to do, like, half an hour-ish just to see if the audio was good so that I don't have, you know, like, five hours of, um, music being too loud. Though, from what I can tell, at least from what I'm, like, hearing in my ears, it's actually rather quiet. So I might even turn it up. Psst. Come here. Where have you been? I was in the village. This place is so weird. But it feels so real. And everybody's okay with me just appearing out of nowhere. Shard, you're stealing my thoughts. Stealing. I remember there's a cellar in your cottage. Some provisions must have been stored there. Wheat, exactly. I remember baking bread from it. And pies. Mmm, sweet berry pies. Toast? Onion toast. Oh, that's good with beer. Shard, you know what? I need a beer. This is the beginning to feel like a one-sided relationship. Bring me beer and I'll tell you a lot of important stuff. Like how you can get home. Questions? Ask about this small road. Yes, can you tell me? It was re theoretical. Can I look like do I look like a matching magic hair with all the others? Well, technically yes. Shard, you smart ass. I'll be waiting for that beer at my place. No beer, no answers. Yeah, he's a bit of an ass like that. But it's fine. It's part of the game. And I have meta knowledge of all the things that will happen. Or at least most of the things that will happen. There's a whole DLC's worth of stuff that I don't know what happens. And from what I can tell, like, I love this game simply because it is so very good at, like, the balance. It's, like, there's always something to be doing, and I love games like that. But it also has a definitive end, which is, for me, vital, because I don't like playing games that never end because then you just waste all of your time. Like, something like Overwatch, for instance, is different, because that's something you play with your friends. 
you know, you have end matches and what have you. So, anyway. Hey, where's my beer? Give me the beer. Ah, oh, what a disappointment. I think I need something stronger. Alright, you seem like a decent guy, so here's some advice. Stop running around bragging that you're from another world. Today you whisper that in the, to a drinking buddy in a tavern, and tomorrow you face on your face is on every pole in the town. So if you want to keep yours, just stop. Maybe he's right. I should be more careful. So what was your question? I have some questions. How do I get home? Easy. I'm sure you could use the portal on Witch Hill. So I just need to go through it or what? Do I need to turn it on first? I obviously don't have a brain inside here, so I'm not sure where this knowledge is coming from. I've told you everything I can remember. Maybe some books from the library could help you. Whoa, the church has a library in its cellar. Or maybe astrologer knows something. He's a smart man. He used to steal books from libraries when he was a kid. How can I get to the library? Obviously through the church, and I think your wine cellar might be connected to the church cellar. Oh, even the morgue is connected. There's a network of tunnels down here. Net, net. I used to like fishing. I remember fishing. Once I caught a fish this shot, I got no hands to show how big it was. But believe me, it was huge. I hate fishtails. And once... You know what? I need to go. Sure, sure. It's nice to have legs. Don't forget to bring me more some wine. Oh, he's so smart and very cheerful. Though I don't know him personally, I think. But his wine was the best. He was... And he has a big friend. He was a big friend of the lighthouse keeper. They used to hang out at the lighthouse every crescent moon. Where is the lighthouse? Somewhere near, let's see, Chardon. I don't remember. All these questions are so frustrating. You're not a very good friend, you know. See you later. Alright. Well, look at us. Working hard. Hardly working. All right, that's all of our energy. Well, it's most of our energy. We can, um, yeah, it's still glitchy. Ah, uh, we love glitchy games, don't we, folks? So, need to blow my nose. Good lord. Um, so this is where we store our wood. And this is where we store our stone. And this is where we craft stuff. We build all sorts of stuff. Uh, for the moment, however, we are to being asleep. And when you sleep, you get back energy. Time passes rather quickly. It's, you know, pretty common to just kind of like sleep, you know, like use all your energy and then sleep all day. Oh, hello. I'm so refreshed. This is not good. Not good at all. Who do you think you are? I'm the new graveyard keeper. Hooray! A kipper! Wow, I've been here for... How long? I'm Yorick! I'm so lonely. Poor, poor me. It's too bad you're here. Wait! No, on the contrary. I'm very glad to see you. But we do have a rather unpleasant fellow buried here. We'd really like to have a new neighbor instead. That sounds like something you could help us with. I'm not exactly sure why I'm here, actually. Gary only told me about burying bodies. You're Yorick, and he's Gary. Funny. Ah, uh, a half-dead skull. I'm j that jealous bastard. Ha ha ha. He can only dream of what a peaceful rest we're having. Who am I kidding? It's terrible here. Especially that guy down in the lower right corner grave. He's so mean. Could you get rid of him? Just dig him up and throw him in the river. I can give you this license that I stole back when I was alive. What license? You're such a dummy. To dig up a corpse, you need a license. The old keeper used to buy them through the mailbox near the church. 
all of my voices are blending into this exact same one that speaks very slowly, but he was meant to be more of a sad guy. And of course, Karmic, like this, is very nasally. And this is the basement. Is the basement any bigger, I wonder? What's that sound? It's Snake. What am I gonna do for Snake? I'm gonna blow my nose really quick. Cut this future me, cut this out. Yeah, so eventually we can um, break these and walk around in the tunnels. It's very important for getting around. And, you know, like, I tend to play this game, like, one day I'll work on this, and another day I'll work on a different thing, and then the day after I'll work on a different thing, and it's kind of like a cycle. Because once you get the church open, every Sunday you need to remember to do a church service. And then on the day coming up next, the one with the antlers, that's the day with the merchant. Uh, the green one is Snake. The upwards arrow is... Who is that for? The Inquisitor. The blue crescent is for the Astrologer. And then, yeah, and then obviously this day is for her. I'm not gonna do that. You wanna be loved by me? shot a doop a doop Doop doo wah wah. <laughs> uh, I want her voice to be like kind of the same as Miss Chan, but I want it to be more aristocratic because she's very whatever. She's supposed to be beautiful. She, I never like took a close look at their faces. Like future me, zoom in on the face there. It's like it's very odd to look at them. Like I look at my face all the time. It's just I never never look at their face. Okay, so. What are you thinking? Thinking high, higher pitch like this, and then it's like, oh, I'm, I'm Miss Charm. Okay, we'll go with, we'll try to go with that. Hi, what do you want? I'm the graveyard keeper. I want to ask you some questions. I see. You know how many times a day I hear that same mumbling. I have no time for you, little man. Come back when you have more faith in yourself. It's not nearly high pitch enough when I do yourself. But ciao. Hey, old friend. Can I can I have a moment? What did Miss Charm tell you? Literally to go away. Ah, uh, always so classy. She would never talk to just anyone. I'm just I'm not just anyone. I'm the local graveyard keeper. Soon to be prior of the local church. Pfft, how primitive. I'm a well-known poet in a certain small circles. My name is Wagner. Wagner. Wagner? One day I'll read my poem to her and then we'll... But first I need to write it and I am, catas and I am catastrophically out of paper and ink. Maybe you could get some? New technology journalist. You may have some in that in of it in your church, or you can make it. I'm just not used to manual labor, but a skillful man such as you can surely do it easily. Also, you can get some from the old astrologer. He used to go to the lighthouse every crescent moon. You have. He was my supplier before we had this ridiculous fight. He's old and mad, whereas I've been studying for three, almost three years at the town university. Can you believe he turned out to be an idiot? He told me that the earth is round. What nonsense. Yep, it's flat as a pan. The astrologer must be the smart man, smartest man around. Maybe he'll be able to help me get home. Ask about the lighthouse. It's on the cliff, east of the village. Oh, it hasn't, it hasn't seen activity 
use in a while. I'll bless the dead horse for staying up, and one day I'll write a poem about this place. Maybe even a couple lines about you. Uh, my voice is my voice is already hurting. I'm not gonna. I want to play this game like hours at a time. But I have the distinct feeling that um, that is not probably going to happen in the case of episodes where I have to do a lot of talking. Granted, you know, trying to do this whole YouTube thing, I should be talking a lot more regardless because I'm, you know, I gotta talk to you guys and I really should just stop talking when I'm like walking to and from, but that'll, you know, there is like like a hundred hours of gameplay that I'll be able to chop up and not talk through later. Alright, I'm back. Uh, what should we do? I think we'll use the rest of our energy and then we will probably end this episode because... I want to make sure it's not too super long, and it feels like it's been a while. I don't know how long it's been, because I didn't set a recording like a big dummy. But, regardless of that fact, um, I shall be ending it and hoping it's like, joy! Alright, let's actually, I think our, our, our energy would be better spent cleaning up the graveyard of the shrubbery um normally the last time i played this game like the first two times have i played it three times the first two times that i played it i did like i didn't do hardly any graveyard stuff for like the whole game until the very end when i had like max technology um but my newest playthrough, I did like a row of wooden stuff and then it like gradually got a little bit better. Um, so I just want the graveyard to look pretty. Obviously, I don't really, I don't really care because I would like, I think I did like down here was all of the wooden stuff and then it like, just like this whole side I wanted to be wood and then this other side I started on like marble and stuff. That's I think that's probably my plan of what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna dig up this body. Which sucks because it's a really good body. It's got like decent stats on it. But he wants it dug up, so gotta dig it up, throw it in the river, call it a day. What do you think you're doing here? A ghost asked me to get rid of the body. So what? Now you're just going to do whatever he asks? It's not like he can do anything to you. <laughs> He's disembodied. Whereas I can bite you to death while you're sleeping. Of course I'd never do anything like that because we're friends. But you get my point, right? Anyways, if you, if you ask me, the best way to get rid of a body is to burn it. You know where this river is? The river. Somewhere down to the town, I think. Okay, I'm right You know what? Ah, uh, you're one of those guys who looks a lot smarter than you're than they actually are. Thanks. That's what I'm talking about. You need fire and some wood. It's a bit tricky to make the whole thing burn to ash. Where can I burn it? Hmm. In a nice quiet place, like the place I use for my meditation. Across the road from the mortuary entrance near the cliff. Yeah, 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 I know. So this is all the NPCs that we know so far. Um, and they all have like, you got a little quest, little quest, little quest, little quest. No, no quest down at the bottom. Eventually you'll get some quests. This is the map. Um, it does not show you where you are, unfortunately. Which is something that I think should be the case. Um, also, spoiler alert, if you don't want to hear this, skip a little bit ahead. Uh, you'd never actually get to go to the town, as far as I'm aware. Um, I do not know. I will hold my hands up. I do not know what this new DLC will bring. But, uh, from the last couple, you never go there yourself. You just get other people to go there for you, basically. And that's okay. 
That is okay. Um, but it is... It's unfortunate. Though I'm sure that's more of a... It's both a story thing, because you, you're not allowed to go because of the contract. Um, which is a whole thing that you find out about from the DLC where you get the tavern. I don't remember what it's called. Because the first one is... Um, the first one is about the zombies, which you can like automate a bunch of your stuff. The second one is the one with the tavern and the like the relic time machine, which we'll get to eventually, and that kind of reveals like the backstory of the whole world. And then the third one also kind of delves into the backstory, and it deals with a vampire and refugees from the town. And it's actually really fun, and you get you have to like build this little refugee camp. Um, and then the new one, the only thing I know about it is that you are helping a ghost, and I don't know when we'll get to it, and I don't know what it's about and what we're gonna get and what we're gonna, you know, like have to do for him. I just got a body. I'm so refreshed. <laughs> Good. It's much nicer without him at the graveyard. I'm still so sad, though. I'm so lonely. I was bad when I was alive. I should have been a better person. What do you mean? We're dead, but we still deserve some respect. Oh, fine, I'll tell you. Each corpse is a soul's vessel. It bears the mark of his life. Sins are red and good deeds are white. Even the best decorations, wreaths, can make a graveyard a peaceful place. Skull and white skull and wreath. When it is full of Oh, can't make it right, right. I'm not sure that I understand what you're talking about. I'm sure you don't, haha. <laughs> you better take good care of the graveyard. I'll be watching you. I can't do anything. I'm so sad. Boo. Alright. Um, we're gonna go do this body. Again, like, this is the problem with this game. Is I'm like, oh, I could just go do this one, this one more thing. One more, I just one more thing. One more thing. One more thing. And, and on and on and on it goes. Um. This dude. So... Yeah, but it, it it's a good good game. I don't know how much commentary I'm gonna have on it, to be honest with you. Um, Cause once I have already said everything, it's like, well, what do I say now? I've said everything. Um, but due to my meta knowledge, I do know that I need a lot of stuff from a lot of different things. Um, do I want to bury this guy? He's got three good points so I could put like a yeah I want it yeah well yeah we'll put him in we'll put him in we'll put him in put him down he'll at least at the very least neutralize that hole in the ground granted you could just fill it in um, so we're gonna go back to sleep and then I will uh, end the episode but yeah it's it's there's a lot coming there's a lot to do I think we had a very productive first episode granted we didn't do a whole lot we just did a lot of story stuff and talking my voice hurts my throat hurts but can't really do much and he says i'm so refreshed every time and they will actually comment on that that, that gets commented on later but um thank you everybody so much for watching this first episode of many of graveyard keeper me, Captain Huey, um, and I will see you in the next video.